So this is a very informal view of the Dark Flash DLM22 case. Um, I'm here to enumerate all the reasons why it didn't quite deserve all the hype that it got over the internet on being an exceptional case when it's nowhere really near that. Okay, first things first. Um, one of the reasons I bought this case is that um, Call it superficial, call it like a really shallow reason for picking up this case. Is that um, I wanted something that looked like a solid block of, uh, of uh, aluminum or a solid block of metal, kind of like a reminiscent of the, you know, the 2001 Space Odyssey um, structure. Anyway, so uh, when you, when I saw this uh, particular case the product shots actually didn't have the logo here um, and that one of the th most disappointing things that I that that greeted me as soon as I opened up this case is that I saw that logo I mean it would have been it would have been much better if they just removed that logo altogether at least for this um, version of the case, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm so that that's one of the things that somewhat disappointed me. So um, so as I going through the um, the build of this, um, there's a lot of things that kind of struck me as very like you know there's sort of cheap feeling of the case. A lot of the screws actually, I, I don't know, I mean, uh, it's been a while since the last time I custom built a PC, but for this particular case, a lot of the screws are <laughs> easy to strip. And I don't know what it's made of, but it's, even the thumb screws, thumb screws that came with it are not all metal. It's a metal that is like the, the, the thread, the, the thumb part itself is coated with plastic so it's a little things like that but it really screams like it's low quality to me um, the other thing that that um, really pissed me off as I'm building through the case is that the standoffs that came with it it like it came with eight standoffs and six of them are already pre-attached you're going to have to attach the last two. Uh, in this case, I'm using an ASRock motherboard, so I needed to attach two. And the thing about it is that unless you have one of those tools that that would, you can well basically you cannot use your hands to 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 screw in the, the thumb screws, the the standoffs. It's impossible. You you won't be able to do it. You need to have one of those tools that allows you to screw those things into the case which is like you know those things like you know that screams really to me again tells me like how low quality this thing is and there's more so this is what it looks like um, when you have like you know um, you remove this the back case I mean well my my cable management isn't exactly going to win any awards but it's far from being a rat's nest or at least i would like to think so um the thing that that's again that's that to me that says to me that this is a low quality case is that it does like you know it, it supplies you with a number of um zip ties for for the cables but None of these things here uh, provides like a channel to so you can able to um, like you know uh, at least uh, channel all those cables into like you know so you could tie them up neatly. And the other thing is that it never came with any rubber grommets in like you know where the cables would come out. So it makes it harder for um, to hide those cables in the front side of the case 
especially when you're trying to like you know um, showcase the um, the innards of your cable and um, uh, one one thing that I need to mention is that um, even though this has a number of vents um, none of these vents actually has any filters on them so um, unlike some of the like you know low-cost cases where the vents have at least uh, has filters in them this doesn't come with it and I and again with the price that I paid for this you'd think that it would come at least with at least one fan no it did it it came with zero fans and and I don't know I mean to mm. me that um, that that seems yeah for for 70 plus US dollars that's that's I mean not coming with a any fans is just cheap um, so the other thing that that's not right about this case is that this uh, I don't know what do you call this this PCI covers are not screwed so once you figure like you know once you remove those covers they're gone um, you cannot reattach them so God forbid that you took out the wrong uh, covers um, for uh, putting in your PCI your your graphics code. so the other thing that kind of bothers me about the design of this case is this thing I like comes with this thumb screws and you could move it or whatever but uh, I don't get it it like what, what purpose does it serve um, you I mean it has holes in it you could put the screws in it even without this thing uh, it again it serves no purpose I mean it would have been better if they just made these things like you know not permanent like you know to be able to screw them back instead of having this contraption that has that has that that's again to me serves no purpose um, so a couple of last things here um, and um, that would sum up like why this case doesn't deserve all the hype that it got is that this like this case is not tall enough for certain motherboards where the the, the card the PCI the cards for the P, for your graphics card sits in the second and in the second slot so as you can see this is those one of those motherboards um, so now with with it like you know uh, a card that occupies two slots you you don't have a much um, ventilation here so um, not only you have like a really small clearance here this this cat this case doesn't have any perforations whatsoever in this in this um, part of the case which again uh, it's mind-boggling I mean you need some perforations here so that there's movement of air um, so this makes it uh, like really bad because metal is a heat conductor so as you're blowing hot air into this um, metal part it, it just exacerbates the the the, the temperature um, of the um, the inside of this temperature of this case uh, so one last thing about this um, actually a couple of last things I guess um, the LED that comes with this um, case um, is poorly designed for two reasons one it's too bright so if in a dark room you'll see that like you know this the blue light that emits emitted from this case is so bright that it would project itself to the ceiling 
That's how bright it is. And second is that there's, whenever it's lit up, um, it has a leak inside the case. Um, in in my in, in my in my case, what I had to do is like I had to to put in a couple of electrical tape so that light will not leak inside the case. I mean, again, it's a small thing, but it it's 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 big enough that it kind of irritates me. Um, and and the one last thing about this is that for those who are planning to buy this case in the future is that the maximum height for a CPU cooler that it can accommodate is 160 millimeters. This Be Quiet Dark Slim Pro is dangerously close to that height. But the good thing is it, like, you know, with, with the, the, um, the glass door closed, it's not a problem. It's, 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 um, it's, uh, it's, there's a, there's, there's enough clearance in there so that it won't even hit the, the fan cooler. So, uh, you're, you're, you're probably, like, you know, I mean, I guess the, the only, the only really, like, you know, I guess one of the, the, the standout things on this case is that, um, it came with this, um, uh, glass hinge door thing which uh, again to me uh, like you know I didn't care so didn't care too much about it I would have actually preferred that this to be like a um, like a metal case because again like I like I said in the beginning I'm looking for that space um, 2001 space odyssey um, look of the case and this doesn't really do it for me. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that's it. So I mean, um, this thing is 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 like you know it. This I I hated it. That I hate this case at this point. That I'm actually moving it to another case. Um, I'm gonna remove it. I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. Like, you know, that's about, I don't know, $80 down the drain for me.